Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and this is my Bok Barometer for week 2 of Super Rugby. Please show your support by pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel. At 15 we got Apalile Fasi yet again for the second week running. What a game he had against the Highlanders. Just his sheer pace and eye for the gap is brilliant. At 14 you've got Tyron Green replacing Sabu Nkosi. Because he is out injured, so it was an opportunity for another winger to make his mark and Tyron Green did that by scoring two tries against the Reds. His overall attack line is brilliant and his defense was very solid against the Reds as well. A really bright future ahead for him. At 13, it's still the battle between Lucanya Am and Ruanel. I can't split the two guys for a second week running to whom will be wearing that number 13 jersey for the Springboks. At 12 you've got Berger Woodendahl for the second week, although he not so impressive this week against the uh, Stormers, still deservingly of the number 12 jersey ahead of the rest. At 11 you've got Makazolo Mapimpi, two tries against the Bulls and two against the Highlanders. That reputation needs to tell that by himself. At number 10, Kevin Bosch replaced Mornay Stein and Damien Willemse. Um I think he had a decent game against the Highlanders, although he's still making silly mistakes. But a good opportunity for him to rise as a player, as to Mornay Stein and Willemse were really average in their game against each other. So Bosch replaces them at 10 this week. At 9, you still got Herschel Yankees. At the moment, I don't see another scrum of uh, really lifting him out of it, except maybe for Sanella Nohamba, who's coming through as a good youngster. At 8, uh, Noche replaces Jaka Kutsia. Kutsia moved to loose for, uh, loose to, uh, to the uh, flanker. Uh, Noche was instrumental in two of the Sharks' tries against the Highlanders. His slick handling and his ability to hit a gap is really remarkable. So for this week, Notch gets the notch. At 7, Peter Stefter Tue keeps his position. Um, it's going to be hard for any player to uplift him out of his position as long as he's in the starting lineup. He stays in that position. Manus Kuman also for the second week, man of the match performance against the Reds. Um, at the moment, James Fenter are really his only opposition. At 5, we still got Jean Recreer, his consistency and his ability to calm the play in the lineouts and in the rucks and in the malls is quite extraordinary. At 4, you got Salman Murat for the second week. A really uh, bright future for this youngster as he's making his mark in the Stormers jersey. At number 3, we got Fal Franz Malherbe for the second week running. His ability along with Kitsov is extraordinary and definitely claiming their marks for that Springbok jersey. At number two, Peter Janssen replaces the injured Bongi Bonambi. Um, although he's still struggling a little bit with his line-out throws, I think Peter Janssen has the ability to become a really good player for South Africa as well. As to whether he's ready for it just yet, we'll have to wait and see in the next couple of weeks coming. But for this week, Peter Janssen did enough to wear the number two jersey. At number one, we've got Steven Kutsov as usual. Um, nobody's going to lift him easily. So guys, that's my team for this week. Tell me what you think. Cheers for now.